G'day gamers, before I go into the unboxing video, I thought I'd show you this little clip. Now this is a TDM match, start off really sweaty. Did alright, I got 10 kills in the first round, went absolutely shit in the next two. So guess what, with the power of editing, I've wiped those from memory. Oh, should have just told you that. But uh, look, I just want to say that the Coalition are listening to us, people. They, they seem to be, I, I've watched, me, I'm a member of many Facebook groups when it comes to Gears of War, and for many, many months, people were saying, this game, just the season pass, what's the point of getting it? They're not looking out for us. Yada, yada, yada. You know, you don't feel special as a season pass owner. And then, well, you know, lo and behold, they gave us 20 airdrop packs, which I think was a good move. Uh, it, it seems to be making it a lot more affordable to get these packs now, because they've re the Onyx gold packs again this weekend, and rather spending money for it, or anything like that, I managed to save up a few, and you'll see it in the next clip is the unboxing video. But I do think the Coalition are listening to us, but the one thing I do have a major gripe with this game is the connection. No such thing as, you know, I believe, is a dedicated service. They had a lot of issues last weekend, particularly when they had Blood Drive and Clock Tower Drop. It just every sweaty bass under the sun came out with his controller, grabbed the bucket, grabbed the towel, and went full McGee sweats. I mean, it was just sweaty. Ice steak. I mean, it should have been called the Rexona Cup. I mean, it was just sweats of the sweat of just, you know what, the sweats. It was just so effing sweaty, I lost weight. So it was just, and their servers didn't seem to cope, you know, it, it just seemed to carry on for over a week or so, a lot of sponginess. FLS Destroyer, the retro noob has said, it's so spongy, I can't even kill with my retro. Just kidding, he's a very good player. But it is something they have to work out, work on is the connection now. Microsoft's meant to have this U-Butte Asura service, which is meant to be better than EA, meant to be better than uh, Activision service. Uh, when it comes to this game, and they say they're using those servers, I find it hard to believe, particularly after Gears of War. wasn't just, what was the other one? I've, I've wiped it from my memory, the remaster one, whatever you want to call it, of Gears of War, the original one, which I just, you know, had no servers in Australia whatsoever. So, you know, you just play on bad ping. And I keep on telling people with Titanfall 2, I can play on a New York server with some ridiculous amount of ping, 280 ping, whatever, and it doesn't feel that bad or laggish. So if I can do that with Titanfall 2, why can't I do that with Gears of War 4? Because it's only social playlist, so tell me what you think of that. But also, people, it is a crossover weekend again, so that means all you sweaty PC bastards out there with your mouse and keyboard, bring it on. Always good to have more different people in the community. The PC community think outside the box, as I just get a kill there, because they... They just do, PC gamers do, rock on them, grab out your GTX 1080s and just go hardcore with your motherboards, if that's what you say, frag and tag. But before I get into the next clip of the unboxing video, I just want to say thanks for the support for the recent lot of videos. Uh, next couple of videos could be just Gears of War, and I will be doing a Titanfall video here and there as I steal the final kill. So Wybot, at the end of this round, basically gets 10 kills, and I stole one of those, so you know, I'm a selfish bastard, frag and tag. Look forward to the next clip, watch the unboxing, drop a like if you liked. G'day Gearheads, Wobot here with an un opening or unboxing video. Now the Onyx Gold Swarm packs are back for this weekend and plus they've given us three Gears Art Lancer, Gears Art Armor and Weekly Bounty Pack, one of each, for, which is good of them. So I've got about, you know, six packs to open up here and I thought we'll get into them because some people like these unopening videos. Now I didn't pay for any of these, or just from credits I've earned during the week. So let's start with the Onyx Gold Swarm Pack, shall we? Let's see how we go with this puppy. Um, let's go open. And I'm just going to go to reveal all. So here we go. Fingers crossed. Here we get something good. We've got one legendary. I've already got the Gohan Swarm and I've already got the Voodoo Retro Lancer. Go to the next pack. You, you know, th these packs aren't bad. Like, you wouldn't... Yeah, I have done. You wouldn't pay for it with your own money. But anyway, let's see how we go. Uh, ooh, do it. I want something a little bit different. You know, I can, you can craft those, you can burn them and craft them into something else, here we go, I think it's the last of my pack here, oh yeah, yeah, I think I've got the Grenadier before, you know, he went, the Grenadier is the best, oh, I really do think the Grenadier is, is one of the best, man, so that's where we go, to the, let's go to the Gears Art uh, Armor, um, let's see what this one's like, right, Pete? I think it's a like three cards in these, no, it's a full card pack, let's reveal all, let's go. Lindsay Eyes Armor, Richard DeGarcy's Armor, Mike Sand Sandville's Armor, David Nash's Armor, and Anatomy Cap. I don't know who these people are. I don't understand what it means, but they look alright. 
I like those. Let's go to the gears of our like. I wish if I look, I keep on griping on about it. When you get esports, you know, you buy the esports pack or whatever. It should include at least you know the money you pay for it, the Lancer Nasha and Snub Pistol. You know, just Lancer, pretty you know pretty lame. I'm just saying that it's pretty lame, man. Like it's just. You know, I'm just saying it's lame. Reveal all. Lame, 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 lame. Uh, nah. All right, the bounty pack. This will help me go up in rank. Here we go. Oh my god! I, I, look, I don't really versus. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Core victory. Don't get too many core games. Really have only made it to level 5 or 6 of Horde. I don't really play Horde. Horde is not really my uh, go-to game on Gears of War. And what I will say this about a lot of people have noticed, particularly when I was playing on the, the developer's playlist, a lot of people have re-upped 3 to 4 times more than I have. And it's quite evident how they re-upped. And it was by Horde. It was quite disgusting actually because a noob like me was owning you. And there's only a few of you. You know, a lot of majority of the people I play with on here kick my ass, but, you know, people, yeah, I, I don't know, if you enjoy Horde, fair enough, man, but I don't know, man, like, I don't, uh, I don't know, so, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please smack the like button, I have yet to do my top five games of 2016, I've got to find time to do it, I might actually start it tomorrow night, I've got time off tomorrow night, I've got a way of doing it, it is top five games of 2016, yes, I do know, but we're still in January, so it's not too far behind. Some more Gears of War stuff. I've got some great Gears of War footage here and there. And I want to talk about Titan 4 2 stuff. But I am really uber excited when Mass Effect Andromeda comes out. Because when that comes out, I don't think I'll be playing many other games. Maybe Ghost Recon thing if you do be. I don't know. I'm just one of those guys. So, Frank and Tappy, good to those, own you? Catch you, my folks, on the battlefield. And open them packs. Oh, yeah.